वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कशन ऑन टू इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ ए सी और डी सी पावर सप्लाई इन बिल्डिंग प्रोसेस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ ए सी एंड डी सी पावर सोर्स सो जस्ट यू कैन सी फॉर ए सी करंट सो एट हायर करंट ए सी गिव अ स्मूथर आर एज कम्पेयर टू डी सी करंट but in case of dc current welding so that will be more stable so if you work with the stable arc then and then that will be also increasing a melting speed of the welding so basically according to my requirements i would like to use ac or dc power source another difference for ac welding once established an arc can be easily maintained and controlled because of alternate current but in case of the dc power source that will be preferred for the welding for certain non ferrous metals and alloys so if you work for non ferrous metal alloys so there will be the more preferable power source as a dc power source in case of alternate current welding which is suitable for welding thicker sections in case of dc welding it has lower open circuit voltage and therefore that will be safer for ac that will be easily available into our household applications also but arc can be heat can be regulated through dc that will be only with the help of dc rp or you can say direct current reverse polarity and direct current straight polarity so once again that polarity it would be depends upon the how much penetration is being required for your base metal or parent materials then ac welding's power source has no rotating parts but in case of dc welding equipments is a self contained unit it can be operated in fields where the power supply is not available so dc welding power so in case of ac welding it does not produce a noise but in case of dc welding power source is transformer rectified unit or you can say dc generator or you can say motor or engine driven based dc power source is being used in case of ac welding it occupies less space in case of dc that will be having a large space it is less costly to purchase and maintain that will be also the one of the advantages considering as a ac power source it processes with high efficiency up to 80% it consumes less energy per unit weight of deposited metals melting rate of electrode cannot be controlled in ac as equal heat generates at electrode and to the job so these all are the basic difference between ac welding and dc weldings so that will be help into the practical manners as well as you can easily selecting either ac supply or dc supply which will be depends upon the quality of the weld as well as the how much penetration is required onto the mill as well as the characteristics of the materials of the base metal and parent materials so i hope you understand this so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching